It's very hard to spot art in public spaces in India. But on today's episode of Mojato on Art, we're going to be meeting people who are trying to change this very thing. Plus, we hear a word from the world of Mojato and we tell you all that's happening in the world of art around the country. All this and more on Mojato on Art. What started off as an underground graffiti culture, often associated with acts of vandalism, has now flourished into a vibrant street movement. We take a look at how artists have been taking to the street, reclaiming public spaces and using the city as their canvas. Who says a street just has to be a street? Why can't it excite our imagination? Push our perspective, or even just play with optical illusions? For the Start India Foundation, canvases that span our city can do all this and more. And so, through their street art festival, they've introduced murals and graffitis to Delhi's Lodi colony and Tughlaqabad. They made, as they say, an open-air gallery, accessible to all. We always thought that Lodi colony was like a perfect space to create uh, an, um, yeah, an open-air art museum because it has specific characteristics which are like really different to find in Delhi. So like, you know, sidewalks, like sidewalks are not something really uh, present in the city and broad road uh, with a lot of greenery and walkable, is really pedestrian friendly. So it's really beautiful because they have their own distance, so each every piece can have like its own aura and can be appreciated in this way. But there is like one wall after another and it's beautiful to take a walk and to be stimulated by art and not by like, you know, shops. Meanwhile, in Delhi's Inland Container Depot, these street artists have come and painted huge shipping containers, turning a plot full of storage containers into a fantastic village. From poetry to mythology to fruit to the cosmos, these murals turned anonymous containers into transformative art installations. I see these because of uh, the characteristics of the, of the space and the containers. Like we want to do something with containers for a long time while when we got a call from Mr. Sanjay Bajpai from ICD that why don't you guys and come check out what's what's happening here at ICD. He wanted us to kind of like paint the the outer boundary of the of ICD but we wanted to paint the containers and that's how we kind of like you know started uh, this conversation about how can we how can we have you know a show or like a kind of an exhibition where everyone can come and participate. More than 25 artists came from all over India and the world to bring color to the walls of Delhi and offer a crucial reminder. Art can only be powerful if we see it. Which often means we must run into it. And here, on bustling streets or next to a landfill, is no exception. Our next story takes place in one of Delhi's busiest malls. And although the artwork that we're about to see is on the outside, it forces the viewers to do some very deep self-reflection. Owais Hussain makes paintings, sculptures, installations, even films and poetry. His work explores the self, and he challenges his visitors to confront their own multitudes. I live in a house with many rooms and each room is a different medium and I enjoy the, uh, with the ease in which I kind of drift from one room to the other and I take it and suss out various ingredients from each room and uh, as, uh, 
as required uh, to the subject or the or the concept of that particular work that I'm building. Uh, therefore, I work out the hierarchy of the priorities of what I want to use, whether it's film or poetry or painting or just three-dimensional experiences. Awais Hussein lives and works in Dubai. This installation, titled For Every Horizon You Leave Behind, forces reflection, literally, from the people who meander through it. Commissioned in Delhi by the Publica Foundation, it was first on display at Bikaner House, then moved to Select City Walk in South Delhi. By putting the work in a space as public as a shopping mall, the work will be experienced by thousands of people, many of whom might never have bumped into such a work otherwise. This site-specific installation, which will eventually stand uh, outside of uh, um, Central City Walk uh, Mall in uh, Saket, and, um, and, 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 and in that enormous space, you have this inverted, uh, tilted house shape of a structure, and where you enter, and it's all about reflections within it. And it's also about yourself somewhere and placing yourself. So this whole sense of, you know, I mean, and, and, uh, the sense of, you know, um, looking at, uh, at yourself, but in, in so many different perspectives and so many different dimensions, you never cease to explore. And, uh, and, we are, and it's also sort of very relevant to our obsession of the self as we grow along with technology and with time. No two visitors will have the same experience in the installation. What you notice, whether it's about your surroundings or yourself, is a product of the countless moments that have led to the one where you enter the space. In its own way, the way it travels like a constellation, uh, these, and, and it grows in multiple, uh, uh, in, in its multiplicity of, of, of its reflections. And, um, yeah, and then you catch glimpses of your own silhouette in that light. So, or if you are with another person, or in, uh, or more, and you see that whole thing, and then, and as you turn around, your 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 perspective keeps evolving. <laughs>